From Art and Craft has its world premiere today at the Tribeca Film Festival in New York. The star of this documentary is a forger who duped museums across the country. But his co-star, if you will, is the local man who exposed him. We first told you about Matt Leininger when he was director of museum services at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Local 12's Deb Dixon shows how the story came to the big screen. Inside the briefcase is six years of research that exposes art forger Mark Landis's 30 years of deception. Matt Leininger first discovered the art hoax when he worked at the Oklahoma City Art Museum. Landis donated a painting in memory of his mother. When I looked up uh, the watercolor in Oklahoma City and the exact same one with the exact same credit line, showed up in a press release at the Savannah College of Art and Design. I didn't know that I had discovered and, and eventually uncovered the most prolific art forger in U.S. history that never sold anything. Which is why Landis has never been charged with a crime. It seems a generous act of philanthropy when he donates a Picasso to a museum. Leininger found the digital deception with a black light, reproductions painted over. The film Everything follows Landis and his design. aliases that includes a Jesuit priest. I wanted to know if I could bring it by to you this afternoon. The film also moves into the complex world of mental illness. Landis is a diagnosed schizophrenic. Are you hearing any voices or saying no. anything? Okay. Matt's dossier includes all the paintings Landis forged and gave to museums. Some of them want to remain anonymous embarrassed they were duped. When he says that he'll be back in touch with more artwork from his collection and money for an endowment, you know, museums, they see that as we need to cater to this guy. Before the film, the story was told in The New Yorker, several art magazines, and The Financial Times. At that time, when The Financial Times piece came out, that there were only um, three aliases, mm -hmm. and then after that there was Mark Lanois, uh, Martin Lindley, and John Grauman. Leininger found Landis's fake art in 60 institutions in America. He believes there are more that just don't want to admit it. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. And the film is expected to be in theaters later this year.